tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Satnam everyone. My name is Reverend Reg and I'm here for Practical Magic and I'm your host for this show where we remind you that you are actually the magic you've been waiting for. And here in the show, we get to talk about metaphysics, meditation, the power of the spoken word, and anything about consciousness and the law of attraction. But before I proceed, I want to invite all of you for a simple affirmation and meditation. So I encourage all of you to go to your meditation spot. All right. Gently close your eyes. And use the right palm to touch the heart. Breathe in and out through the nose while you're touching the heart. Feel your connection to your heart. And let's affirm, I love myself for all that I was, all that I am, and all that I want to become. I am worthy because God made me so. And join me for chanting three times, one for ourselves, another one for someone we are praying for, and the rest for our global village. Satnam. 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 Take one last deep breath. Feel the sound integrate in every cell of your body every organ and every aspect of your life. And gently open your eyes. Sat down to all of you. I love doing that, especially when we're tuning in all together. And it's one of the best ways actually to tap into ourselves. And I'm actually very excited tonight because I have the author of Tap Into You and the founder of Tap Into You, Reflections of an Angel, and the creative genius behind Dip Into You and Namaste Sweet Thing, which is actually our topic for tonight. And I'm very happy to introduce to all of you Dr. Anita Powell and her very powerful background. Uh, she's a metaphysical counselor, vibe coach, and international spoken word. And do believe that that, along with other things that, that occurred in my life, that was a component of a lack of self-esteem. Because if mm -hmm. I'm male and male is the it, then I must yeah. be like a man. And then also growing up saying, you know, we are, you know, you're a sinner, you're born a sinner, this and that. So that toppled on top of it. So my journey was always, I want, it's very important, very important for me that I wanted to 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 know my connection with, mm -hmm. with I didn't accept that man thing. I didn't accept that yeah. with the universe, with whatever it was, I didn't know. And even back then, I did not know that I was trying to tap into, I was trying to tap into a truth, but it just stored there. So in the 80s, my, me and my brother both, my brother, he chose uh, Islam. He is Muslim, he's avid, I'm so proud mm -hmm. of him. He's an avid Muslim. Yes. We went through Hinduism, Judaism, Zoroastrianism, um, wow. uh, all up <laughs> in studying. I have, a, I have my Gahanzan on top of my altar because I am a religious pluralist. You know, mm -hmm. I am the religions and the spirituality and, and, and accept, honor, understand, and, and love the other do not other types of religion because spirituality is a whole different kind of thing. Yeah. So we would go on our journey. Um, I was crowned with the, the with the 
in Buddhism, you know, uh, with the, the crowning of the sword and everything. Um, and, and I embraced all of that. It wasn't, it was in the 1980s, still I was searching. I said, okay, wait, but there's, there's that, that separate thing, you know, you know, okay, how do I connect? How, how, how am I connected with all of this? Even at the age of six, personally, I believe before we came on the planet, we had already established what our lessons, what we wanted to learn. So mm -hmm. we all, there's no difference. I mean, you know, like we can say metaphysics or and, and when metaphysics means, okay, going beyond what I see. So that's why when you say we're all metaphysicians, um, yeah, because we have to go deeper than the external, external data. We have to tap into ourselves and go within ourselves. So, yeah, I, we all, we all have a calling. And that calling is that whatever, I'm like Ray Charles, whatever that thing you love to do, baby, you do so well, that's your calling. Yes, Another yes. Another part you can understand what your calling is, is if you're afraid, if you're afraid to share it with others, because that's the lesson we came here to learn, to get over, as Carl Jung would say, outgrow that fear yeah. and go into uh, like Moses, when Moses, I can't, yes. you know, and, and, and the creator, but I got to, don't you know, this? yeah, you're going to overcome this fear and be the leader of these people. And that's exactly. the difference with every single last one of us all. And sometimes we may say, I don't know what I'm to do. Yes, number one, yes, we do. It's what you love. That thing you love to do, you do so well, you think, oh, please, well, nobody, uh, um, it's just too easy. It's just too easy. <laughs> and, and, and the said, but I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid to be laughed at. I'm afraid it's not going to work. I'm afraid to be outcast. That is the calling. Yeah. I love what you uh, mentioned about going within and what you mentioned about what Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is within you. Because one of the things that I want to emphasize in our talk today, when we talk about heaven, especially if heaven comes from the Greek word uh, Uranus, which means expansion. So the thing that you mentioned about letting go of fear and really going, you know, you think a thought and then it grows and it grows and it grows. So with that particular thought, because we get a lot of thoughts, all of us, and, and we all have different desires, needs, and wants that we all want to fulfill. So what would you advise someone who's actually getting into the manifesting process, they're hearing it for the first time, how are they supposed to choose what, what is it that would be the best for them? in terms of exerting their energy and putting their focus on manifesting? I would say, because I have, you know, I have my cup, I've been high, learning to let go, trust in the flow. So that's the journey I'm on today. I would say one, start looking in the mirror mm -hmm. and start seeing, measuring the trust. And then you want to expand on that. Mm -hmm. Once that trust is expensive, go into the grocery store and follow your intuition. You go to the grocery store, you have a list of get some bananas. Don't question them, get them. Just because now you're learning how to trust that 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 inside, that guide inside. Then also, some people are old together. I'm not. And that's another thing that that works like the um um. um a liability for me because it, 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 I allowed it to reduce my self-esteem and feel like a failure. You know, that's like the pedestal, how you go, yada, 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 you gotta be this, you gotta be that. It didn't work for me. So I would, if you are a goal setter, then let them, you know, let go of the control. Mm -hmm. an intention seer, because I, I, I've always done that. I didn't, you know, didn't. I, I've always been one. I see the end result. I don't be worried about the how. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like, hey, you know, how, how it works. I know it's just going to work. I would say to, to you, learn to trust who you are. Learn to trust that, that you are more than what you see. Learn to trust one thing, whether we accept it or not. We, we are energy. 
learn to mm-hmm. know that 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 your your voice, your 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 breath is is a part of the universe. That you have a right to be here. I'm I'm Heather Dorada yeah. now. Yeah. Earth. You have a right to be here. And 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 whether or not you know whether or not you understand that the universe is unfolding as it should. Every experience that that we have it is for our soul's evolution because it is yeah. expanding the, the elements of our soul. So trust, get someone with keep it simple, sweetheart, kiss it. Learn to trust who you are in the mirror. Learn to love who you are. Learn to trust you're on the inside. Have an intention and learn. The more you learn to trust you, the more you're going to learn that you are connected with the universe. And the more you the learn, you're going to learn to be able to learn and to let go. Trust in the flow. I know once we doing that opposite positive, the point is that there ain't no need looking back. I ain't no need. What- oh, I'd like to travel with my spoken word. Now, I didn't put conditions. I'd like to travel to California. I'd like to travel to Canada. I'd like to travel throughout the local area. I'd like to do this. I left it. That was, and that came later. Somehow things come later. I simply said, I'd like to travel. The mm-hmm. universe took me to Thailand. Awesome. But I let it go. I saw an intention that I wanted to travel and I left the how alone. Mm-hmm. I would never in my consciousness, this consciousness, yeah, this here, yeah, but I didn't see that's that part of the layer that we don't see. Um you gotta tap into. But in my consciousness, I never would have I never would have thought, wow. I'll be doing spoken word on, on in another part of the world. Never. But I left it, I left it alone. I left the how alone. And the awesome. universe, it did its thing. So that, that, you. that's the confirmation of, of having intention and, and trust. Just trust the flow. Trust the process. Learn to trust. If, if, if one thing, if I could say, le- have the intention, learn to trust the process and let it go, because once you let it go and learn to trust the process, you are going to intuitively start going toward making the steps that you need to do to, 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 to get to that place. Because there are thousands that on our journey, we're reaching thousands of destinations. There's always gonna be a destination. Yeah, just that you're presented with the principles, but it doesn't really come in exact orders the way you were told in the class. So it's important to develop that intuition. So what do you advise, Dr. Anita, someone who's just beginning to understand uh, metaphysics, the power of intention, the power of listening to the universe? How do they sharpen their intuition? As there's no scientific or intelligent or um, different things, simply ask for guidance. And if you don't know how to ask for guidance, then ask to be shown how to ask for guidance. It's it's all about that connecting with that universal energy. One, recognizing that there is universal energy and that we're connected and that we are supported by this universal energy. One, asking and then believing. Faith, size the seed of a mustard seed. Believe that what you're asking for, you're going to receive. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.